here at Stadio Malvinas Argentinas in Mendoza. We are about to witness Argentina, Los Pumas, taking on Le Bleu of France. It's Petra New sent it to Carreras. Kramer charging forward and Marius van der Vesthazen has advised the referee Chris Busby that there was a no arms tackle penalty advantage to Argentina who changed direction now De La Fuente all the way to the line asking the questions Santiago Carreras puts three points on the board for the home team Gaetan Barlow to feed the line out one on the back of their scrum work just grubbering it through Serran oh, great control with the foot Serran is after this it's all on him gentle touch with the foot he still scores mesmeric talents from the number nine and the French score the first try of the match The crowd do their best to distract Anton Hastoy. That feed to the line out just drifting away, but with no contest, that's all okay according to the new laws. Ati Sogbe dragged down in the tackle of Matias Moroni. Fired back by Serran, and the French have seen enough. And that's fair enough in the end, because with 14 minutes gone, this young French side with six debutants in the starting lineup see themselves in the lead heading into the halftime break in Mendoza. Oscar Jeju increasing the tempo at an offload, powering through the defense for the try. It's Antoine Flich. There it is. And that's a great way to handle a rush defense. Antoine Hastoy. Serrano goes long. Albonos underneath it. Hangs a contestable one in the midfield. So Pablo Matera caught for not retreating from that kick. The player in his 99th cap. Setting up this opportunity for Antoine Hestoy. 50 meters, no problems. Montoya feeds this pivotal line on for Argentina. They play it back to their captain. He's in the corner. The smart play. Almost a missed pass from the captain, Pablo Montera. Former captain, rather. Demba Bamba, quick ball for Serran. Bouncing pass, not what he would have desired. Ati Sogbe. Ati Sogbe! Wow. The teenager stretches out and touches grass for France. Guya. <laughs> Rising at the four ball in the line out, the rolling mall looks like it's going nowhere. And a penalty advantage to France as Bobigny looks to present it. In fact, he'll run first and commit the tackle of replacement halfback Lautaro Bazan. Discipline is out the window in Mendoza today for the home team, who will need to do better than this next weekend when they face the French again. The man from Toulon is on the money. It's a 20-point game. Desperation strikes for Argentina, and they win back possession. The offload under pressure from Bazan. Keeps the South Americans on the front foot. Here's Bazan to Matera, or rather Kramer at first receiver. Oh, the pass is just not accurate enough. Carreras tickles one through but the taste not on song it's been gobbled at the back however and the try is scored by Matias Orlando 
It's a good little dink through. There's no one back. Winger had to come up. And Melvin Jamine just can't hold on to it. Great patience as well to make sure he can finish it off there. That's really well worked by Matias Orlando. Such a fiery character, Felipe Contompomi, the way he used to play, very passionate. And he didn't want to come and suppress the passion here, but I think he would have loved to see a bit more from his troops. That free kick should bring about the end of the game. Knocked into touch by a French side which deserves to celebrate a quality victory here in Mendoza, Argentina at Stadio Malvinas Argentinas. Thomas Albanoz with the last act of the match, the Benetton man. And it is France who impressively get the better of Argentina here in Mendoza by 28 points to 13.